Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, match reaction from a game, Derby County. Andy and Ryan, uh, great to have you on. <laughs> Come to you, Andy. I've just been saying off air, mate. I mean, atmosphere is like going back to the 80s. You had it well, wasn't it? It was. They yeah. were bouncing, wasn't it? it? And full credit to both sets of fans, I think, for that, mate. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it took me back um, into the 80s when uh, we used to go. Like I've just said off air, yeah, we didn't have fancy stands back then, but. You know, it, it was like the norm to be like that, uh, have big crowds. And, yeah, it, it was just like being transported back into... Especially when we Castley started playing as well. I thought, <laughs> I am going back here. Uh, but, but, yeah, absolutely. And see uh, Pontian just full of red yeah. scarves as well. It was, it, was, it was awesome. And if players can't react to that, then they the wrong job, out there. Uh, and what a job they did. It, it, mm. it was just... I just, bro, I'm just so proud of my, how they played yesterday. Just yeah, I'm, amazing. I mean, going off that, Ryan, I mean, when line got announced, we kind of touched on it earlier, probably Lodesh for Cadden. I think Babel only won. And, yeah. You know, and Lodesh had a decent game, so it's no reflection on that. Uh, but again, when lineups got announced, pretty strong sides by both, by both teams. Great following. I mean, what I mean, what were your expectations when it kicked off uh, with this train? What what it going to be a bit of nervy bum on seats time? Oh, or, no, but we're in it. Yeah, my nerves were shattered, mate. To be fair, I was exhausted about the game. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was so I was buzzing so much about the game. I hadn't felt this excited about a match for for, for a long while. You know, I think I think the build up was brilliant. The letter from Mads being issued by the club was making it a scarf day, and really, you know the. The, the calls from Michael Duff to, to, to give us that, you know, give the players that extra push. And so we knew it was going to be something special. special. We knew something special was going to happen. And that's not way down to ground. Because um, I sit with my brother in Ponty and it, our kid just said, says, you know, you know what, no matter what happens, if we win, lose or draw, we stay and then we clap, lads, because let's just give it everything today. And I think everybody felt that way. And when we when we come out and we're cheering with all that scarves up, I literally, airs were standing up on the back of my neck. It was unbelievable. It, like yeah. you say, it like being transported back. It, it was just phenomenal. It, it was like that the whole game. And, and the performance was just... It was just special, weren't it? It really was. Yeah. To, to, to a man, every single player had a brilliant game. And, you know, we played them off park, to be fair. If you look at the stats, yeah. if you look at the stats, they could say it looked like an even game. It weren't an even game. No. Derby had a lot of ball. They did not wait. That second half, when they come out at 3-1 down, and you know they needed to push on. I kept saying, if we could just keep it like this for twenty, you know, for 20, 25 minutes, keep it at three one. They're going to have to push. They're going to leave gaps at back. Mm. But they never did. <laughs> they just never no, did. They, they, true. they had that shot that went over at bar, didn't it? That went miles over. That pulled back to edge area. Went miles over at bar. Mm. And then that one where Easted made that double save, where he, yeah. he, he, he saved cross coming in, and then he spread his send for um for that yeah. second for that second save. But other than that, they didn't. They didn't. You know, they didn't bother us. Mm. I think that was just testament to how well we played. You know, we come out out at blocks. You know, absolutely, we just fired straight from. We were on them right from right from start, and we got that three one lead at half time. A deserved lead as well. And um, and then second half, we just managed them. We managed the game brilliantly. Yeah, yeah, it, agree was, with it, that. it, it, it was it, it was a near on perfect performance. Apart yeah. from that goal, it was a bit. I think it was a bit of sloppy defending. To be fair. I thought it were offside when they scored, mm. but looking back on it, he won. He won miles on. I think we just he just he just poked it through. It was just perfectly timed run by McGoldrick, wasn't it? Nice finish as well, to be fair. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did well. But yeah, yeah. What a fantastic day yesterday! It was one of the best days in a long time. It just <laughs> it, 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 it was amazing, amazing. <coughs> fantastic day. I mean, I I was in Mount with my son, and a few people coming up to me and saying, "I just feel this." My son, like he was saying, "I'm nervous, but nervous in a good way." I just feel, I, I just feel yeah. something, and you could. Sense it on walking to the ground, gaining ground, seeing yeah. that amount of people as well. Seeing some people as well. What I answered him for, I said, a year, I said, well, just after COVID, but for a, a, a season or two, and that was pleasing to see. Seeing some older faces, what I answered, I'm thinking, oh, you're back, and I'll yeah. be well, you know, things, but just a, a different vibe, a different atmosphere. I, I yeah. just put my finger on it, and the amount of red scarves and flags and arts, it were like, yeah, but. And then as it game approaching near and near the kickoff, it was like 
it's filling. You can feel it. You can you can feel that buzz, that excitement, and it's yeah. just a vibe all the way around. So credit to how it got uh, handled that. Getting onto the game, I mean, for me, uh, I thought Norwood and Cole run the socks off up front. Yeah. Uh, probably one of the best pairing weight performance I've seen them two play uh, together up front uh, against Derby. Uh, and I get where you're coming from with that way. When they scored their goal, I think it was, we'd scored and for a slight lapse there, we'd just like kind of to switch off. Good full ball. My goal, like I said, finished it, put it away well. His quality, um, you know, he is he's, he's up there. His quality, you know, top championship, probably even Premier League sort of standard is McGoldrick. Yeah. His, his, his quality, and you saw that in the finish. You can't give that lap chances like that. No, no. And I thought when we got his third goal for half time, I thought that's just Tony that we needed. And then I, I'm kind of with you, uh, Ryan, about second half. I thought it's going to be a bit like Alamo communities. But again, I thought we... We managed it pretty well, and the credit to Duff and his, his team for doing that. I mean, substitutions what came on, we'll come on to this in a, a, like now, Andy. I mean, substitutions again, I thought it worked well. I thought Liam yeah. Kitchen picking up that booking, I'd take that all day long, proper professional <laughs> booking, took him out. And I, again, that, and I don't think Duff will have any qualms whatsoever about that. Absolutely not. Just I mean, took him out. And stood up and clapped it. Yeah, and that's <laughs> and that's what you see. We, we knew that, they knew that. But Again, Andy, I mean, seeing stuff like that, it's like, yeah, you can identify, you can relate to it, we're all in it. And I don't know about you, Andy, but for from back to front, Ishted, all the way to front with them two. I mean, it was like yeah. Ryan was said there, it was it was like a, a complete performance. Everybody would in it as a as a unit, won't we, Andy? Yeah. Um defence looked solid. I, I wanna give a shout out as well to Stead that keeper um because sometimes they do get a bit overlooked especially when uh teams won but what a signing he is mm. i hope we can get him full time me mm. um it is it looks like he's been playing all season with us um comfortable um do you know what reminds me it down. in what my son said as well and it was a good shout by him he says it, going back in time it, it it's a similar signing to look still he came in and his, yeah, his, yeah. his chance. I don't know what you think about yeah. Andy. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd agree with that. Hmm. Um, I, I think we've got a really good keeper there. Honestly, yeah. do and you know, all credit to, and all due respect to Walton. I think we've probably got uh, best end at deal. Uh, I can yeah, see why Lawton fans um, didn't want him to go. Um, I, I do hope we get him full time, but yeah, yeah, I think he deserves a shout out because, like I said, keepers go a little bit unnoticed, especially when you've won. Mm. It looks like they've not done now, but uh, it, I thought he played well. But, but they all did, uh, like you said, from back to front. Um, that Thomas at back, um, solid. Um, I, I love him. I think he's brilliant. Uh, when we scored first goal, went to Derby fans to wind them up. Um, Unity bit. That's what you want, yeah, isn't it? Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what we need. Because um, I think they came expecting to batter us. Mm-hmm. I honestly do. Um, and I, I said to Maddie as well, uh, I think everybody had it on the mind as well that Ori oh, Anmo in there, you know. Let's be honest, yeah, he is uh, a club hero, but, you know, <laughs> Phillips, um, I personally think now, um, at minute, I'd have Phillips over Uri any fair chance. I think Phillips is absolutely brilliant at minute. Um, I honestly do. And I th- again, I think sometimes he probably goes a little bit under the radar by not being mentioned as much. He's turning into a, an important player. Um, he really is. But yeah, back, back to front. Um, and even down to manager and coaching staff. Um, absolutely spot on yesterday. Yeah. I mean, just going from game it's sent, Ryan. I mean, I'm not, I mean, referees and officials and that have had a fair amount of criticism the past couple of weeks. And some will say rightly so, some will say probably a bit unfair and unjust. But I don't know what your thoughts on it. But I thought, to be fair, my, my, I mean, this is my opinion. I'm not, you might think completely different. Mm-hmm. But I thought referee and officials. Probably had a decent game to be fair. If I'm not being, yeah, we said that both me, both memorable. I said that I said he were he, he were a decent ref. There were a couple of 
slightly dodgy decisions, but I can sort of see why he might have given it. There was that yellow card on, on Bobby Thomas when he slid in second half. I thought it yeah. was a good tackle to me, but mm. he might have seen it as a dangerous tackle. But other than that, he, I thought he were pretty decent. I saw some stuff online saying he were terrible. I, I, he worked that. He worked. I thought he were all right yesterday. I thought he had a good game. I thought he managed it well. Mm. Um, he weren't letting him get away with stuff. He let. He tried to keep the game going. Yeah, you know, he won't fall in for any silly tactics where they're throwing the cell phone floor. Even Kane got a yellow card for throwing his cell phone floor. So, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, he won't he won't stand in for it. And I thought I thought it would I thought it won the best rest we've seen this season. I thought it were you know it were perfect really for that big game. Mm. I noticed in second half that one of their players I forgot who it was because uh, obviously they were attacking the over end and we were out in Ponty. I could see it and he like more struck to send down to the ground and referee were, like play on and. Play got up and like remonstrated. I thought, no, fair play. Referee's not buying it. And I thought yeah. we've had a lot worse officials over the last couple of months, if, if I'm being honest. And and it's like what we said before, Ryan, wasn't it? It's like you, you wanted the officials to come in and even after score, I'm thinking, oh, here we go. But that was pleasing to see that they both went over, had a talk, and rightly so. Because I've watched it back a couple of times this morning and um, it won't offside, but it was pleasing to see that. Ref had gone over to the official, his line off, had a talk and done that. Rather than just like take one word and like, no, cancel it out, he took that bit yeah. of time out and took a pause. So I thought he'd, I, I, yeah. I thought he was one of the best referees we've seen at Oakwell for a bit, to be fair. Yeah, so, proper, proper yeah. officiating. He went over, discussed it with his linesman, they had a chat, they both agreed, and, it, and the goal were given. And it was, mm. it's how it should be. Mm. It's how it I should think, be. Um, yeah. You know, it. There's too much of it crept into the game. You know that one where they're back in and they just fall over? I hate that yeah. foul. Even when we get them and we get their free, they get given against it. They sort of back into them, wait for them to nudge them it back and then throw themselves on the floor. And they get it 99 times under, they get a free kick. And it, mm. it's so frustrating because it yeah. breaks the game up. And it's not a foul. It's just, it's so soft. And you see it so much in modern game now. But they weren't having any of it, were they? No, <laughs> just, no. Get up. <laughs> yeah, and fair, and, fair, and fair play. Yeah, fair play. Really similar to like, I remember in World Cup final, we're doing it. That, that referee World Cup final won't take in any of it as well. Mm. It, it, you know, it's good. It's good to see. We need to keep game going. And I th- yeah, I, I I really enjoyed it. I, you know, I thought his performance was really good yesterday. Yeah, I mean, for me, Andy, for, just going on from that, uh, you know, it's uh, I've had to like call that out because you know we call it out when we, have, when we do have bad games. And for me, I just had a gate mention, so it's like you know, fair on both sides. But getting back to the game it's in, I mean. 3 1 in second half. Did you ever feel at one point in second half that, mm, do you know what, we're going to lose this? But I could glance up at clock, I'm thinking 70, 78 minutes. Eight. I'm thinking we look all right. We, look, we, we don't look comfortable, but we looked in command and in control of his own destiny going forward. Apart from a slip up, I think we'd have been all right. But what we are taking the last yeah. few minutes going into that, Andy? Well, I thought in last, what, 20, 25 minutes, I, I did think we looked quite leggy. To be mm. honest, and mm. that that was my only concern. Um, and I was just hoping, as you've just said, that they were just going to see it out and man manage it. Um, but uh, yeah, that gift of a goal with for Luke Thomas that uh, mm. that just cemented it. That took all pressure off. But mm. uh, yeah, like, like I said, I, I was a little bit nervous when we were getting uh, tired, and rightly so. And they're the only humans. Um, players and then ran the sends into the ground, uh, which they had to do yesterday. Um, but yeah, uh, going back to subs as well, uh, uh, you know, I think Duff got it right uh, when he took uh, players off and freshened it up a little bit, uh, mm. especially in front two, because, uh, yeah, no wooden call. Uh, well, they're on the so- little socks off, bless them, didn't they? Mm. Mm. No, no, would were immense, weren't he? He just, he I mean, he does it every he game now, but he just ran himself into the ground. Um, I think he's got, winning that, winning I think that, he's got to, sorry, Andy, go on. Uh, sorry, I think he's got to anyway because he knows that there's extra competition now there. Yeah. Mm. But you, using his experience, so there were a bit in the second half where he, he, he backed into playing and he, and he managed to get a corner kick from it, didn't he? And he really challenged yeah. it down that corner and it just epitomised his performance, yeah. really. He never stopped running. Yeah. You know, Cole's run for his goal were just, you know, Cole created that goal, that third goal. He so deserved that finish at end because he, mm. he picked up that ball and he made that chance. He created that chance. Yeah. Mm. I think yeah. they were brilliant. But like you were saying, Andy, they did. I think Duff made the, um, you know, Duffy made the 
the right calls at the right time because we were literally saying just before uh, Phillips come off, he's looking a bit leggy. He's looking a bit leggy, yeah. and they brought, you know they brought him off and put. Um, yeah. Did they put John Russell on for him? Because yeah, Martin yeah, did, yeah. Yeah. Time, yeah. Or, or Martin, no, Martin and Thomas come on first, didn't they? For two for, to, for two forwards, and then I think then it were Russell learning it that come on for uh, come on for Phillips. <laughs> it were, you know, making decisions at the right time, which is what he's paid to do. Um, and we just uh, and so it out, and it was so good to see Luke Thomas get that goal coming back. It were, uh, you know, a brilliant big boost for him in front of Ponty, yeah. like one of big boost. Yeah. Did you yeah. feel? I mean, just going off from that, what uh, Andy was saying, Veer, uh, Ben Ryan, did you feel at any point, Veer, do you what, what are you thinking, right? Well, we've got to like 70 minutes, we've got to 80 minutes. Do you, do you thought we were in control apart from like a probably a set piece yeah. or a summer? I thought we, I thought we looked all right. I think we mm. gave a couple of free kicks away in dangerous positions. Um, but they didn't do not with him, fortunately. But I never felt like they were getting on top. They had a lot of ball. And maybe, I mean, we seem to be putting it out into touch a lot for, from Edders and clearing it out. Um, and there, there were also, I think there were a certain five, ten minute spell where we just seemed to be oofing out area, but oofing it straight back to them. But, you know, we defended. I think we defended really well. There were no point in that second half where I thought we're really under cosh here. Mm. We're really under cost. I don't think there were any point where I thought they were going to get. It didn't feel like they were going to get back into it. Mm. Um, and I thought we saw it out brilliantly. You know, yeah, yeah we, we we really did. So it out, uh, and I think fans also played a part in that. Uh, <laughs> like I say, it, it was belief over here and everything over here bouncing and buzzing like going back in time. What we've been wanting. Uh, this is going to be a bit of an item. This so. I don't know once so I'll, I'll lean me any man anymore. I'll go to Andy. Uh, man at match, mate. I mean, uh, if you can, I, I mean, mean I, it's... I, I don't want to play it safe and a bit of a cop out and say I want to give it to all team, which... No, no. It's, you, you, hey, if you, you want to do that, mate, you would do that. It's you, not a cop out. No, you, it really is an item, this one, mate. It really is an item. I mean, you, you, can, you can do that and I won't have any problems with it, but... Uh, if I did have to pick somebody out, um, ooh. it is an Arden. Kane, I think I'd uh, I'd go mm. with Kane. I think Kane played really well yesterday. Mm. Um, brilliant at midfield, um, but apart from that, um, other option, a very very close second, and I'd give it to everybody, but. Uh, yeah, just just uh, to pick a single player, I think I'd probably just give it Kane uh, for his work. Uh, yeah, Ryan. I mean, you mate. Yeah, um, yeah, like you said, there could be an argument for any everybody getting it in team really at some point, couldn't there? But I just think for 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 the it's difficult really. I'm torn between two because one played a full game, and one didn't. I, I, mm. I thought we were saying during the game that I think Norwood's going to be man at match. I think he, his contribution were, were were brilliant and his effort were unbelievable. But yeah. more for contribution towards the actual overall result, um, I'd say instead I thought he had a fantastic game. He made some good saves. Mm, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. He, he got that one where he'd sort of gone the wrong way when they shot and he saved with his legs. Mm-hmm. He dived down to his left and he managed to he managed to save with his legs. Then he tipped that one over bar. He saved that free kick from a goal drink. and then that same in second half. In during the game, it just looked like it was a bit of a scramble, but we knew it was back on replay. He's, he's yeah. maybe coming across with cross, then he's just thrown his son in front of him. And, you know, it's, it's brave for the start, but what a great save, great timing. Hmm. So, yeah, if I'm going to put... If I'm going to um, just bring it down to one, I'd probably say Istead, I think. I thought he were, yeah. I thought he were immense yesterday. And he were, he were really yeah, Gene Crowd as well, weren't he? He were getting around. <laughs> yeah, and getting, crowd, yeah. getting crowd going. It reminded me a bit of Lee Butler. But, you yeah, know, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's the blast from passing all right, mate. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 what a, what a that's keeper! He was yeah, immense, one What a character! I mean, I remember yeah. uh, with Lee Butler warming up with Dave Watson, and fans were singing England's number one to Watson, but to Butler turned around and waved at us. It was yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love Lee Butler, Character's excellent, excellent. excellent. Character's character's yeah, and. Both good shouts, by the way. That I mean, I saw his stead at half time when a whistle had gone, he turned around, he's like proper going, quo, quo. I'm like, yeah, Lee, but- Lee Butler esque kind of thing. But I mean, <laughs> I, for me, 
I want to I'm not sit on the fence, but I'm going to be a bit different to this. Um, I can see where you're coming from with Eastead, Norwood, Kane. You know, Bobby Tony, you could put a, a lot in there. But I think we, we have done interviewing Khalid and stuff like that, I've seen behind the scenes. I'm going to get, I'm going to probably word it but, but a bit differently. People at uh, match, I'm going to get it to not man at match because everybody's involved in this. But I'm going to possibly set club. I've reached out to fans, match day drinkers as well, because with scarves. I want to give a shout out for all PR team, what we put into this, try and get, you know, people into the ground. All fans, what turned up, because we've had some travels, we've been some ups and downs, and we've had a last season fiasco stuff. So again, all fans, what have turned up and get it be all. And getting Duff and his background staff for all effort. And I think it was a, a well-deserved reward for everybody concerned at Barnsley Football Club, Beth Sefton included, yeah. uh, who's still recovering. Everybody what associated with Barnsley Football Club, I think we all deserve a pat on the back and a, a mention for what we've done. Uh, us as fans, what have done it on pitch, if I want to single out a player, which is hard, I think I'd... See, I'm torn now between Norwood and Kane. I thought Norwood again. You kind of know what you're going to get, but his wit rate where we're putting up front. Kane, it just seems to be gaining confidence time after time. And Bob and you call it Ishted as well. It's like it, how many <laughs> goals did he save? For me, I'm just going to slightly edge it with Kane, just and we might even mention Devante Cole who's got two goals. Mm. And again, yeah. there's that much, it, and it's no reflection on any. Play of it's like it's been such an hard choice for us to pick a man at match out, and I think for the last few weeks, to be fair, it's been tough to call up one out. But I just want to give like a shout out to everybody concerned about the football club because we made this game all the work we've put in, work and effort we've put in this week. I'm not saying we've done it every week, but it's been building up and building up, and even walking down to the ground, it's been the equal field vibe. I don't know, but I mean. Me and Andy were just sort of on about it, and you've just mentioned the player there, uh, Ryan Lee Butler. You're going back to them, go back kind of era when it was bouncing, buzzing. It was a different vibe, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, this game for me, I think the only one I can really relate it to is probably the Walsall game in playoffs. You know what I mean? Yeah, where really it was mm. back bouncing and scarves and all that. But apart from that, yeah. I think this, I'm and I'm hoping now, now all well, can be going forward. That more momentum push it forward. I don't know what your guys think about that. Look, look, that's. I mean, I did a video on my channel yesterday, and that's what <laughs> I said on my video. Um, I'm just hoping it's for fans. It's just not like a one-off or you know the fans that's been staying away for whatever reason. Um, let's not just make it a one-off thing. Yesterday, you know, get down. Oh well. Um, Club has been, and I think rightly so, being called out by us on this channel and other people, and rightly so, because let's admit it, um, in past, art has been ripped out at club. But now, we've got a decent manager. We're playing some really, really good football. Get down and support him. Mm. Uh, and it shows yesterday that players is reacting to it. Um, even up when we play Chef Wednesday, um, Midweek and it's on Sky. Is that going to affect attendance? I'm hoping the club is going to try and address that somehow to entice people to go down to Grand rather than stay at home and watch it on Sky. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, we, we need to uh, pat all the lot all time now. Um, and like I said, not just treat it as a, a one off. It, it shows what can be done. Mm-hmm. We're a decent, ma- well, not just a decent manager, but I personally think a brilliant manager that we've got and we've got some skillful players in that team you know and, and they showed that yesterday mm. yeah Ryan yeah I, I, I absolutely agree with we said we said this I hope this isn't a one-off I mean fortunately we've got some really important games coming up at Oakwell yeah um, in the near future you know we've got I mean it's going to be down to I mean you know the away fans help massively don't they Having all them Derby fans in yesterday, you know, mm. they played their part as well to make that, you know, with it being a big game as well, 
but also, you know, the amount of fans that they brought, they, they brought, you know, they create help create that atmosphere as well. So I think that when we, you know, we've got Wednesday coming up, mm-hmm. two week, you know, fortnight we've got um, Plymouth, which is a massive game. Yeah. Probably arguably, maybe even bigger than Derby game. Yeah. Because yeah, they've got nine points, the nine points in front of us, but we've got two games in hand and we've got to play them. And, you know, it just feels like we've got to push it. We've got wind in the sail to really push for a, for an automatic we just it just seems like something special is going to happen and i think you know that's going to be again yeah. a massive game. so i'm hoping because we're, and we've got ipswich you know in that time as well so i'm hoping that with having these big games people are going to keep coming yeah. and i think club might have their part to play because in, you know in, in years gone by when you have to buy a ticket for wednesday game it's like a classic like an, an a-class game weren't it it was 35 quid a ticket Mm. And that'll probably keep people away in this, you know, in this sort of living cost of living crisis. So, if club can come to it and all and do what they did against Derby and you know make, make it twenty pound for adults and cheaper for kids, we'll probably yeah. fill it out again mm. and keep and keep that momentum and keep that, you know, not not have Derby that day that we had yesterday as a one off and it be a, you know become a continuous thing and make up make Oakwell a, a, a fortress again. Yeah, um, good point. Yeah, fortress. So, yeah. I'm hoping so, yeah. I think, yeah, and good point about, I mean, Fortress, that's what we want in it. I think we both can agree on that and all fans as well watching. And I think we've all got his part to play. I think club can play their parts, like what Andy touched on being a good point he did make about being on Sky. How many people are going to be sat at home watching it? So this is some of what club could probably reach out and like what Ryan said, mm-hmm. make the tickets a bit cheaper. Address it. So much to build on. Let's let's use this as a, a stepping stone. Like you know, like don't let this opportunity go to waste. Let's let's build on this. Like you know, we've set the bar here. Yeah, you're not probably not going to get seventeen thousand touching because of the away following. But at least let's do as much as we can for his own fans. Hmm. The away fans will sort of sense out. Like you said, if, whether it's going to be like uh, Portsmouth traveling midweek, what they're going to be fetching to uh, say Plymouth at a weekend or uh, Ipswich in a week. You know what I mean? With yeah. distance and travel. So again, I think it's the club can do their part in regards to ticket prices and what they can do, which will all be well help the fans out. The fans turn up and appreciate cost of living crisis. We're not all in a position to do that. I, I fully understand that. But we can yeah. do turn up. And I think we, we, we can be on something special. Like you said, we're, we've got the big games coming up. We've also got this game in hand. Them teams above us have always got to play one another. I mean, Plymouth lost yesterday. So again, there's going to be points dropped up there. All we can do is look after his own game kind of thing. Let the others take care of his ends. Wickham lost. So again, they'd break away from that a bit from the playoff spot. So again, there's, there's going to be a lot of different outcomes coming in next month. I think March, I don't know. I'll just close off on this uh, for this. But I don't know what your guys think, but I think March is going to be a really, really interesting situation. Not just regarding Barnsley, but on our other teams pan out as well. I don't know what your guys think on that in March. 100%. Definitely. I mean, I'll just read games are coming in March. So for us, we've got Bristol Rovers away Saturday. Then at home, we've got Portsmouth. Then we've got at home Plymouth, away at Wickham, home Chef Wednesday, home at Ipswich, and away game in hand at Exeter. So you look at them games there. It's There's not an easy game there, is there? There's not an easy game there. No. Uh, no. You know, I think it's going to be it, it, what it's going to be a difficult time, but I think we've got the squad to manage it because mm. there's a lot of games in a short space of time. Yeah, but I think we've got enough squad in you know, depth in squad to manage to manage that. Barring barring any injuries, touch one. Touch barring one. any injuries, <laughs> I think I think come end of March we're going to know really where we are, aren't we? Where, where and where we're going to fit. I think we're definitely finishing it playoffs. I think, you know, now we're six yeah, points yeah. clear. Now we're six points clear of Wickham. It makes that Wickham game a big game. Mm. Um, just, I think, I think that'll really cement us position in playoffs. Um, but, but like I touched on earlier, I think we can re- genuinely, without making any silly bold statements and been, you know, looking through me, me, me bounce it into glasses. I genuinely feel like we can make a push for, uh, for promotion. Automatic. Mm. Yeah. I've said that. Yeah, momentum is there. Sorry, I said, I said momentum is there. Sorry, no, it's right. Yeah, I've, I've said that. I've said that about playoffs. Um, 
there'll be more twists and turns before the season's done. Um, probably, probably with our results as well. But other teams, um, you know, they'll have little bits, uh, slip ups and blips. Um, so it's not impossible. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Why, why can't we aim a little bit higher? Um, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But why not? Um, that, that, as fans, that's what we need to um, to look to look for, to look forward mm-hmm. to, uh, and push on because we, we, we've given us um, South's chance a good opportunity to uh, to do it and play top teams. Not saying that we're going to win them all because probably. You know, being realistic, we, we weren't. But uh, like I say, the, the, there's going to be twists and turns and who knows where we could end up at the end of the season. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, agreed. I think, I think it's pretty much... I think I think Wednesday will go up. I think, you know, I think they'll push on. I think Wednesday will go up. But I think that second place, I think it's up for grabs. Up for grabs. If yeah. You... They, they, they seem to be having a... I mean, the, there's no easy games, but they seem to be having a decent... Run a team's purple patch in it, you know, all the facing, yeah. aren't they? You know, so yeah, could be a test of them as well coming up. So, yeah, yeah, Ryan, Andy, thanks for your time. Some good uh feedback, some good debate, some good uh thoughts about second game and going forward as well for you know, next few games coming up. So, as always, I appreciate you taking time out. Um, uh, Getting you getting on at the right times and everything like that, but no, Andy and Ryan appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I know I always say that. Let us know your comments in uh section below. It's going to be interesting to find out your man at match, players at match, you know, all well bouncing and buzzing. It's not going to be a one off. Let's let's take momentum ways, let's keep on going. Uh, our games coming up, we can play a part in that. Us as Bouncy fans, helping team be 12th man. Um, and I think it proved that against Derby County as well. So, yeah, Andy and Ryan, appreciate you for joining me. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>